Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 4th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message? I just picked this deck. I didn't know what deck I was going to use. I got Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. I, this one was on the bottom. This is what I cut it to. Uh, so Judgment is truth. Okay, it's the truth. It's absolution. It is the end of things. This is a horrendous loss. Okay, this is a setback of some sort. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Wheel of Fortune Reversed means unfortunately uh just judgment judgment is the end of a trial final decision um making a judgment call these are both completions okay these are both endings okay so but the wheel of fortune reverse is a setback there's been a delay there's been some sort of delay somebody's been stuck right they've been stuck but the judgment is the end of things. It's the end of the trial. It's the final decision. Karma. These both cards of karma. Life-changing decision. There's an unfortunate loss here, though. There's always two sides, right? And we do have an unfortunate loss with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Somebody's been repeating... They've made a poor judgment call, but now it's time to own up to the truth of some sort. Right around the fourth. Truth, truth's being revealed. Truth's been revealed, I believe. The end of things. Absolution. Uh, acceptance. Forgiveness is needed. This card fell out. I don't know what it is. Four of Swords reversed. This is extremely exhausted, tired, fed up. Uh, need to heal. Uh, it feels like we have somebody here that is, uh, I don't know, we may have some health issues here. Four of Swords reverse. It's like help is needed. Um, but Four of Swords reverse. You may have somebody here that was taking a time out. You know, they've been reflecting, they've been healing. Now we have the Knight of Wands on the bottom, which is fast forward movement. This is somebody that is, you know, this is personal freedom. This is moving fast. This is fierce energy. This is somebody that rises, rises to challenges, that, that is very courageous. Um, we have protection here. So there's some sort of protection or a protector. I just happen to really focus on that armor. Um, passion, passionate desire. May have, some, have somebody here that's been sleeping. You know, they've been taking a break. They've been, you know, reflecting, healing, taking a time out. This could be a sudden desire. It could be a sudden change. It could be a sudden depart departure. There could be a sudden arrival. Uh, if it is an arrival, whoever is coming in is very feisty. This person is protective. They are um, this person's hiding behind a mask. You can't see his face at all. He, of course, he's wearing a friggin' mask. Anyhow, um, oh, damn it. Mm. Anyhow, this, the, whoever this person is that's coming in, uh, it looks like he has a lot of passion. He has a strong desire. He's got his eyes on something, but he's not showing his face at this time. He may be hiding or something, okay? There is an approach, though. There is somebody making an approach. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is very uh, driven, driven to take action so somebody's going to be doing something okay it's time it's time to take some action they got a sudden desire to do something anyhow what do we got oh 
Oh, those fell out. We gotta take them. Five of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, Four of Wands reversed. Woo! Five of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who needs attention. Okay, they've been abandoned, they've been neglected, they've been ghosted, uh, they've been suffering, they've been in some sort of pain, they've been. Uh, Maybe they're admitting their defeat, you know. Uh, they've been in a partnership or a commitment that isn't going anywhere. Maybe it's a dead end. There is a dead end here. Somebody has been involved in a dead end situation. They've chosen to be a victim of that circumstance. Anyhow, four of wands reversed. Four of wands reversed. Let me show you what we got here. Let me get them all out. Okay, we got the five of pentacles reversed, the ten of swords reversed, and the four of swords. Four of Wands reversed. When you get cards and reverse those, it means it's an absence of or extremes. And that's why we use reversals. Anyhow, um, Five of Pentacles reversed. Unhealthy, extremely un. Somebody's very unhealthy. Just, just so you know, this could be. This could. This could. I mean, this could be. You know, uh, an ending. Okay, it could be Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. This is like the death of a situation. We have somebody here that may have refused to get help, okay? They may have refused to go to the doctors. They may have refused to get help. I mean, I'm just being honest with you, and I know people don't like honesty. A lot of people do. A lot of people don't. It's about 50-50. Anyhow, um, Four of Wands reversed. Four of Wands. I, you wouldn't believe the people that want me to just to sugarcoat. It's sick, okay? It is sick. But anyhow, it's not who I am. Four of Wands, Four of Wands reversed. This party is over. There's there's trouble in paradise. This is unhealthy. Uh, uprooting, uprooting. Um, this is a disgrace. It is some sort of disgrace. Sick and tired. Sick and tired of being a victim. Sick and tired. Nothing to celebrate. This is no life. This is no life. It's no life. It is no life. Interesting. Uh, foundations with these fours, both of them are reversed. There's an absence of success. Um, somebody invested in something. Uh, they were led in the wrong direction. They went in the wrong. They went in the wrong direction. Now they've. It's almost like this is personal freedom. It's like breaking free, breaking free from this. Uh, insecure situation securing something maybe somebody is securing something or they're getting some sort of help um ten of swords reverse that is liberation it is freedom it's the end it's the end of a painful situation it does have to do with a relationship some sort of commitment it is the end of a commitment somebody is sick and tired and frustrated with being in this commitment whatever this commitment is they're, they're not getting anything out of it there's a lot of pain. It's it's sick. It's a disgrace of some sort. Uh, we got somebody here that wants to move on. They want to move on. They can't do this anymore. Interesting. Ten of Wands on the bottom. Ten of Wands in reverse. That is making a conscious change. Ten of Swords reverse and Ten of Wands reverse is both a physical or mental collapse. And we've had that for the last couple of days. So somebody is really going. It's like there's some sort of mental anguish over the last few days. Over, over, you know, uh, neglect and abandonment and not having what you need to survive or to live a healthy life. There's unhealthy behavior. There's unhealthy habits that need to be dealt with unless you want to die. Okay? Just, and that's not going to be for everybody. Okay? Somebody is really engaging in some negative, in some bad health or they have really bad health and they need to get help. They need to get help before they die. And I don't know who that message is, but somebody needs to hear it. Okay. Um, anyhow, four of, four of Wands reversed. That is um, being shunned, being shunned, not fitting in, not happy, not family, family problems, family issues. Uh, um, four of Swords reversed, extremely tired frustrated frustrated this isn't what I asked for this commitment it's no fun it's no fun it's no what and this could have to do with a home somebody may be maybe they invested or they invested in a partnership or they invested in a home or a foundation and it's just like it's drained them it's 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 maybe it's draining their bank account but it could also be physically mentally draining them somebody is drained they're exhausted they're fed up 
They need to let it go to, to have peace and harmony in their life, to have balance in their life. It's just weighing them down. Somebody has tried really, 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 really hard to make it success, successful, but they're not getting any help. They're not getting any reciprocation. Um, so yeah, I think that the, that we have somebody here that is, uh, maybe they're asking for help now. Maybe they've reached the end. They've reached the end and they may be asking for help or asking somebody to help them to break free from a commitment that they got themselves into, you know, or they, they you know, somebody may be going somewhere to get help. Hopefully that's the case. Three of Cups reversed. Definitely the party is over. This is not any fun. This is, there's no fun. This is no fun. It's parting ways from friends or family or even addictions or both. Now we get the Knight of Wands on the bottom again. And I have shuffled. So this is a sudden departure or a sudden arrival. This is somebody that is doing something brave. Okay, this is a brave warrior of some sort. This is somebody that is acting courageously. And they may be doing something on a whim, okay? Maybe maybe they're departing on a whim or they just can't do it anymore. I feel like we got somebody here that is, is really not letting fear hold them back. It's like they've got to do something and they're going to do it. This is somebody that is very action-oriented. Um, the Three of Cups reverse. That is parting ways. There's gossip. There's family issues here, too. It's like family fighting, family feuds. You know, people, people, uh, I'm sorry, you know, not telling the truth, pitting a pe people against each other. Um, three of Cups, no emotional growth, lack of emotional growth, termination. Somebody's terminating. They're, I feel like they're terminating the contract. It's like there's gossip. There's, this is parting ways. It's, uh, can't do it anymore it's trouble there's trouble in paradise not happy going overboard somebody's been going overboard refusing to get help poor advice from friends or family somebody has received some poor advice or we had judgment. There's a need to make a judgment call. Somebody needs to make a life-changing decision before it's over. Okay, judgment is the end of things. It's the end of a trial. You better make the right choice. Think about judgment day. That's the end. Okay, judgment day is the end, okay? You think about judgment day, it's, just, it's over. Queen of Pentacles. She's been coming up a lot. It's in the upright. It's the only card that's in the upright as of yet. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, a hard worker, very stable, very solid, very secure. Um, looks like she has a golden opportunity in her hands. It's a very fertile time. Romance may even be in the, in the air with these roses. Um, hard work putting in work working working putting in effort somebody needs to put in effort or she's putting she it looks like she's a lot to offer this queen of pentacles has a golden opportunity in her hand it's something solid something stable something real i think i did say securing a golden opportunity somebody may be securing a golden opportunity but in order to have that opportunity they have to part ways because we have a third party situation here we have this we have i mean we do the three of cups okay you know, the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Value. She is the Queen of Value. She knows her value. She will not engage in a third-party partnership. Not a not a true Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right? But not a Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Um, a Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a woman that doesn't know her value. But the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is a woman of value. Okay? She's solid. She's stable. She's, she's secure. She's independent. She knows her value. She doesn't... She's holding on to her value. She's holding on to her stability. Okay, whether it's in a relationship or it's a job or whatever, she has a golden opportunity in her hand. She's solid. She's secure. She's stable. Anyhow, the Three of Cups reverse is n next to it. There's an absence here of 
of uh, happiness and joy. There's, there's gossip, there's family issues, there's this isn't any fun. There could be a third party situation here. There could be cheating. You know, there could be somebody that is cheating. Maybe they're cheating on their partner. I don't know. Anyhow, the Ten of Swords versus Liberation. It's freedom. Freedom from a third party situation. Queen of Pentacles is very practical. She's very responsible. She doesn't need anybody to take care of her. She has all the skills that she needs to take care of herself. Okay? Um, very, very skilled, hardworking. Anyhow, you have somebody here that is, exact, is exhausted and fed up. They have been neglecting, neglected. They have been abandoned or they have been in a victim mentality. There's been a third party involved, may have, may have given them poor advice or has been holding them back for some reason. Um, this, there could be the end of the third party because the Ten of Swords is right next to it, even though the Ten of Swords is reversed may or may not survive. There's been some sort of third party situation here. Something to do with social media as well. Um, so I don't know how that plays a part, but um, socializing, socializing on social media. Can't take it anymore can't take it anymore. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. I don't know if something gets seen on social media and it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Four of wands reverse. This party is over. There's, this, is a, this is like a foundation that is, somebody is uprooting. They may be moving. They're, they're wanting to move. They're not happy here. They're looking for something more. They don't want to be involved in a third party or they don't want to be involved in this gossip or they don't want to be friends with these people. This is parting ways. Parting ways. I feel like we have somebody here that is coming out of the darkness. They've been thinking a lot about their current foundation or their current commitment. King of Pentacles reverse. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have it twice, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have everybody else here though. We have cups, we have fire, and we have uh, air. So we have everybody, but, we, but for people on the, on the table, I mean, we have everybody, but for actual court cards, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, we all have them in our chart. So this, anyway, King of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is not really interested in commitment or they may feel like they don't have enough to offer. They don't put in a lot of effort. This is somebody that may be very spendy, very materialistic. This person may even be disloyal. You know, they don't, uh, have any long-term plan or they're more focused on their money and their job and their business than they are a relationship. King of Pentacles reversed. Not very practical, not wanting responsibility, um, very um, not very giving. This is somebody that is selfish. They're not we have somebody here that is not very giving. You know, they, they aren't. We got the Queen of Pentacles turning her back on this King of Pentacles reversed. This King of Pentacles reversed is, is not giving anything to the partnership. You know, not giving anything to the to the commitment, not wanting to be in it anymore. And maybe it's because he's been rejected. Maybe he's been rejected by a, by a queen, you know, that knows her value. There is definitely a third party situation here. We have somebody here that has been suffering over being uh, abandoned or being neglected. And because they've been neglected, because they're dealing with a woman of value, they've been thinking about their current foundation, their current living situation. This person has been uh, insecure and unstable and not practical and hasn't wanted responsibility. This person may be, may be uh, lazy, irresponsible, whatever. King of Pentacles reversed. Selfish. thinking about 
the best option for sure. We do have a Queen of Pentacles that has turned her back on a King of Pentacles, which is probably a perfect match. This is absolutely a perfect match. I mean, King and Queen of Pentacles, it's a match made in heaven. But it feels like the feminine has turned her back on this masculine because this masculine's not being practical. He's not being practical. He's not being reasonable. He's uh, not stable. He's holding on to something for financial reasons. He's more interested in the money than he is a commitment or a marriage or he's holding on to an ex or he's holding on to a previous commitment. And this Queen of Pentacles, she don't involve herself in th not the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. She's not going to be in a third party situation. Uh-uh, no way. Ain't happening. So anyhow. So, Queen of Pentacles, holding on to her value, not engaging, turning her back on this perfect match. And he's watching. He is. Very fertile time. It is a very fertile time. Romance is in the air. It's interesting. Because the Queen of Pentacles, you see the roses... She's got roses. That's romance. Okay, love is in the air. The King of Pentacles card doesn't have it. It was like this. He's watching her. He is watching her. He's watching her. So this, this King of Pentacles is watching her. He's watching her turn her back. She's turning her back on the commitment because she's not going to engage. She's not going to engage. It's over. It's done. Ten of Swords. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Uh, something has happened, okay? This is like the worst has happened, okay? This is like you made your bed, now you need to lie on it. So, I don't know if somebody has went to someone's home or it has to do with the home or a living situation. It's like, no. Anyhow. Justice justice decision we talked about this already we talked about this with the judgment card this is a decision making a decision being honest and upfront this is the laws of karma okay this is a a final decision that is being made and we did have judgment we've had an unfortunate loss somebody there's been a delay there's a life-changing decision that is about to be made. We do have a perfect match here. There is a third party involved. There's been neglect. There's been ghosting. There's been abandonment. Somebody has been uh, thinking a lot. They hurt another person. They did hurt, or they may have hurt two people with the Ten of Swords and then the Three of Cups. It's like There's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of suffering. Yeah, and they've been suffering. I feel like there's three people suffering, all three people. There's three, there's a th all three people are suffering in the whole situation, right? Anyhow, somebody is, uh, hmm, struggling really with that four of wands reverse, struggling with their commitment. They're not happy, but the party is over. The party is definitely over. Definitely, definitely, definitely is over. This is a final decision, making a choice of rebalancing. Um, being honest and upfront, telling the truth, truths being revealed, uh, making a decision that is best on the facts, making a decision. So a decision is being made. Somebody is going to be receiving an offer they are they're going to be receiving an offer or an invite that leads them down a new path this is a new prospect a new opportunity <coughs> a new security they're going to be securing a new opportunity they are this is the end it's probably the end of waiting waiting for this stubborn unrealistic commitment phobic person to take action all done all done waiting time out over 
<coughs> Done waiting. Sick of it. Sick of it. Sick of the third party. Turning, turning, somebody's turning their back. They could be moving. Making a decision. There could be news of legalities here. This may have to do with, you know, somebody may be filing for divorce or something to do with the home. You know, they may be doing up a new contract to break themselves free. Ten of Swords reverse is freedom. It is liberation. In the, it's tied to the Queen of Pentacles in the Justice card, which is a contract. Breaking free from a contract. Doing the right thing. Being honest and upfront. This is the making a life-changing decision about, I don't know if it has to do with a previous marriage partner or a previous commitment or, I don't know, it's a previous partnership that didn't work out. It's severing the ties. And I had Five of Swords a while back, but I didn't say anything. Three of Cups reversed. This party is over. This is not making me happy. There's no growth. This is a termination. This is, I'm sick of it, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Somebody is done with that Ten of Swords. This is the death of a situation. It absolutely is. One more card. Mmm. I told you it was severing ties. Did I not? Devil card reverse. That is severing ties. That is cutting the cords. It is breaking free. This is freedom. This is breaking free. There's been despair. There's been suffering. There's been uh, tied. Tied to a situation. This is definitely severing the ties. There are ties being severed. Somebody is severing ties. They are. It is the end of things. It is the end of things. This is making a final decision. Then there could definitely be somebody that's ending up in court with judgment and justice. This court related, this court involved, I believe. Paperwork, uh, whatever it has to do with court. Court is involved. Or, or signing of a contract or signing of papers or something like that. I feel like we have a we have a turning point here. Somebody has been uh, really, 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 really struggling, really struggling. but that five of Pentacles reverse this is this is a turning point. This is deciding to sever ties with, I don't know if it's these friends or family or third party. It's severing ties completely done. Completely, completely, completely done. And I feel like they're what they're doing is they're doing it because they have a golden opportunity for something solid, for something real, for something stable, for something long term. And whatever this opportunity is has turned their back, has been like, you know what? I'm not getting myself involved with that toxic bullshit. Good luck. 